Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video where we discuss past year question for the year 2018-2019. In this video, we will discuss question 5 uh, involving chapter 6 chemical equilibrium. Question 5, the equation of simulated photosynthesis reaction is represented by 6CO2 gas plus 6H2O gas in equilibrium with C6H12O6 solid plus 6O2 gas and the delta H will be positive. Okay. At 31 degrees Celsius, the following equilibrium concentration were found, where H2O is 7.91 exponent negative 2 molar, CO2 9.3 exponent negative 1 molar, and O2 is 2.4 exponent negative 3 molar. Okay, the question asks, A, calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction. K stands for equilibrium constant, P for partial pressure. Okay, so for Kp, uh, we, when we write down again, product over reactant, but this case only for the gas state. If we have Kc, concentration it will be the gas and aqueous. Okay, so for Kp, we need only gas. So gas here will be our O2 divided by H2O and CO2. So this is our Kp. Okay, so again, uh, they ask for the equilibrium constant. So it means that this one must be equilibrium, equilibrium, equilibrium. Okay, but then from the information given, we have the equilibrium concentration. So for a given equilibrium concentration, we cannot straight away substitute lah. This one is in molar. This one must pressure must be in ATM. Okay, so if we want to use this value, then we have to use our Kc. Again, C only for gas and aqueous. So, if you write it down, it is the same one. Uh, basically, we don't have any our partial pressure lah. Square bracket means that this is our concentration. Again, make sure product over reactant. If we have stoichiometry at the front, uh, then we have to write down to the power of lah. Okay. So, that is for our KC. Once we have written down, make sure you substitute with the correct one. Here is O2. CO2 is this one. H2O is this one. To find our KC. Once you have substitute, you will get your Kc to be 1.21 exponent negative 9. Okay, but then the question asks to calculate the Kp. So we know the Kc, actually we can find our Kp by using this formula. Kp equal to Kc RT delta N. For the Kp, Kp is our unknown. Kc is this one we have calculated from the previous step. R is your gas constant. So what is R? So, R is your gas constant, 0 0.08206 liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. Okay, this one you can refer back to the list of constant. Okay, so for the R, what, um, I would like to write down the unit as well. So that I know that for each of the measurement, what will be the unit. Okay, so this is R. Okay, T. T stands for the temperature. Based on the question, it gives give us 31 degrees Celsius. But then again, uh, that's why when you refer back to the R, the unit for the temperature here per Kelvin. So it means that your temperature must be in Kelvin. So how do we change it into Kelvin? Degree Celsius to Kelvin, you're going to add 273.15. Which you will get 304.15 Kelvin lah. So that is your RT. So what is delta N? Delta N is mole product minus mole reactant for the mole product minus mole reactant this one you have to refer back to the equation lah to the balance equation okay but then not all mole product mole reactant you must refer back to the state it must be all in gaseous state so here we have for the mole of product total we got here one we got six seven but then again delta n we only want the gas state so the product will be six the reactant will be here 12 so you get your delta N to be negative 6. Okay, again remember for the delta N, it must be R multiplied by T. Okay, all of it will be our delta N. Okay, now we can substitute all the values. Kc here, R here, temperature here, and our delta N. Okay, once you have substituted all the value, the answer will be 5.02 exponent negative 18. Betulkan this one. 5.02 exponent negative 18. Okay, so this is the step 2. Um, answer this question. Okay, again, when we write down the Kp, uh, we can see here all we have is concentration. So we can write down the Kc first, then use the Kp equal to Kc RT delta N. Okay, again, uh, there are another way to do it. If you want to find the Kp straight away, pun boleh. So here we have our concentration. Uh, but then here we have our pressure. We can change the concentration to pressure. 
how okay concentration is n equal to n divided by v okay and then we know that pv is equal to nrt or p equal to nrt over v okay or nv over rt okay so how do we change concentration into pressure uh, here is uh, we have to multiply concentration multiply by gas constant r multiply by t your temperature in kelvin Okay, so if you do it this way, then you will find the pressure of each of the species lah. Okay, so here you will get your pressure H2O, you will get 1.973. Uh, pressure of CO2, you will get 23.2. Here you get your O2, 0 0.0599. Then you can straight away substitute all the values into here lah. Uh, this one, but then you have to relate back to your PV and RT. Easier if you... Just change it into Kc first. Uh, you're gonna uh, you don't have to change it, you find your Kc, then you use this formula. Make sure these two multiply by negative 6. Not only R, not only T, but both multiply by uh raised to the power of negative 6. Okay, so that's for question A. Question B determine the initial mass of CO2 involved in the above reaction. So CO2 again is our reactant. So initial. So for the initial mass, okay, what we have here is only about our concentration. Okay, concentration here in equilibrium. But the question wants about our initial mass. Okay, if we ignore the mass, still it wants our initial kind. So from this equation, we have to do the I stable to find the initial value of CO2. Then we can find the mass. I stable stands for initial change equilibrium. And since in the, uh, the information given equilibrium is concentration, so the unit will be the molarity lah. Okay, so again, our initial, usually for our reactant, we will have the value. Okay, for product will be zero. Okay, for this case, we do not know the initial. Okay, that what that is what the question wants lah. Uh, usually for unknown, kita buat xy kan. But since our change, we, already, we will use the x. So for the initial here, you can use yz or I'm going to use ab. So again, for the change, for the reactant minus, here pun minus. Okay, so that is for our reactant. For the product, since here, our glucose is solid. So I'm not going to put anything here lah. Dash, dash, dash. But 6O2, again, for the product, initially, we don't have any. Okay, so we're going to write 0. Okay, for the changes, positive 6x. Again, positive negative does not mean that the concentration will be negative. It means that it will decrease. Uh, for the product, it will increase. Okay. So for the equilibrium, we're going to add up both of our initial and our equilibrium. So this is the equilibrium. Okay, if we do the ice table, but then we have uh, calculated or based on the question itself, it gives us the concentration in equilibrium. So right now, again, the question was about our CO2. So we know that A minus 6X is equal to 9.3 exponent negative 1. Okay, but then uh, A is, is the thing that we want lah initial ni kan. Tapi 6X ni, X ni how do we get here? Uh, yang ini kita tak tahu juga. Uh, then we know that from this O2, we know that 6x is equal to 2.4 exponent negative 3. Now we know that our x is equal to 4 exponent negative 4. Again, we know that 6x is this one. So we have to find the x. Why we have to find the x? Because we want to include into this one. Okay. So from this one, or you can also use, uh, can 6x is equal to ni kan? So you can also use this one straight away lah. Nak guna cari x pun boleh. Okay, now we know this one. Again, the question was about CO2. So, I'm just involving myself with this one. H2O ni mesti nak guna pun. Okay, I'm going to use this one only. So, I know that in equilibrium is 9.3 exponent negative 1. So, once I substitute, I will get my A to be 0 0.9324 molar. Okay, so for 9324 molar ni, so what does it mean by E? Again, I'm just going to denote this is my initial concentration. Okay, but then uh, the question asks for the initial mass. So if you're just going to leave it there, you haven't answered the question yet. Uh, mass ni must be in gram lah. This one is molarity. Okay, so molarity formula the mole divided by volume. Uh, the number of mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Okay, since the volume is not given, I'm just going to write down, we're going to assume volume of Volume will be 1 liter. 
So if I assume my volume to be 1 liter, if I include into the formula, so my number of mole uh, is the same value lah, 0 0.9324. If you don't want to write down ni, boleh jika terus um, write down the number of mole is 0 0.9324 mole. Again, this is only the number of mole of CO2. We have to find the mass, okay, how? By using number of mole, mass divided by molar mass, okay? Molar mass for CO2. Then you get your mass to be 41 gram. Again, divide by CO2. This one, please refer to the list of constant. C is 12, oxygen 16, but we have CO2, right? So 2 multiplied by 16. Okay, so that's the step for question B. Again, if the question asks for mass, but then again, we have to find the initial concentration dulu lah. Okay, once you have find the initial, then you can find the mass. If the value is not given, kita assume sahaja. Okay. So, um, that is the step for question B. For question C, explain how the equilibrium position will be affected for each of the following changes. Number one, water is added. Okay, so if we mention about equilibrium position, so it means that we want it to be either it will uh, move to the right or shift to the right or shift to the left. Okay, but then how do we know uh, which direction will it shift? Uh, then again, we have to go back. Um, based on the question lah. So, number one is water is added. So, water in this case is our 6H2O. Okay, for this case, um, this one, it, it acts as if the concentration of H2O increase lah. Okay, so here we're talking about concentration. So, for the concentration, what I would like to do, okay, first adalah, um, based on the question itself, um, regardless of the state or the number of mole, uh, we're going to assume that it is a balanced equation. Uh, it's a balanced seesaw, sorry. <laughs> it must be balanced equation. Okay, right now it's a balanced seesaw. So now, when we're talking about water is added, okay, so it is not balanced anymore. So when water is added, so one side will be heavier than the other. In this case, uh, H2O is our reactant. So this one will be bigger. This one is the same. So it will not be balanced anymore. So what will be the um, seesaw ataupun the shape itself? Our seesaw is not balanced. Okay, it will be heavy on our uh, left hand side. Okay, so again, uh, for the equilibrium, all we want it to be balanced. Okay, uh, so how to make it balanced again? Uh, so, we have to mention lah, equilibrium position and uh, what will happen. Okay. So, again, when we're talking about explain, so first we have to mention the counterback lah. If water is added, first the system will try to decrease the H2O, the counterback lah. Okay. Then, uh, then we mention lah, the equilibrium position ni. Okay. So, the equilibrium position, again, to make it balance, it will shift to your right. Okay, so once we have mentioned that the equilibrium position will shift to the right, so um, the question about explain can, um, even though it mentioned about the equilibrium position, we're going to go straight, okay, mention juga about the um, concentration of the species lah. So when it shift to the right, so it means that our CO2, H2O will form our O2. So here, our concentration here will decrease. Okay, but then for our glucose here, it is a solid. Uh, concentration back to KC again. KC is only applicable for gas and aqueous. For the solid, the concentration won't affect much because it remains constant. CO2 will increase lah because it shifted to the right. CO C um six O2 ataupun sebenarnya oxygen will form uh the product will form more lah. Okay, so I'm just gonna mention about the concentration itself. So, for the square bracket means that it is concentration lah. If you don't want to write down, we have to mention lah concentration of CO2 and H2O decrease, O2 increase. Again, for our glucose, since it is a solid, so there's no concentration. So, for the effect ni, I do not include lah. Okay. So, that's for question 1 Roman. Okay, question 2 Roman. The temperature is increased. So, when we're talking about temperature, what we have to take into account is, is it endothermic or exothermic? So, how do we know endo or exo based on the delta H? This one is positive. If it's positive, it is endothermic, means that heat is absorbed. Heat absorbed means that heat is on the reactant side. If exothermic or H equal to negative, heat release, heat must be on the product lah. For this case, heat is on the reactant side, so it means that heat is here. So, heat is on the reactant side. Okay, when we're talking about heat, okay, if a concentration, we use salt. If for the temperature or the heat, we like to use analogy, a place lah. 
uh, tempat panas uh, Panas Labuan uh, Because Okay how do we know It's hot uh, Because heat kat sini So what happened here This one does not have any heat So it is Consider cooler lah Then uh, there, When there is heat So kalau tempat sejuk Kita assume uh, Kundah sang lah Okay, back to the question. I explain how the equilibrium position will be affected. Okay, so first we have to mention the counter back. Uh, the system will try when it increases the temperature. So, the system will try to decrease temperature. So, if it decreases temperature, so it means that it wants to go to a cold place. Uh, cold place kita dalam case kita ni, uh, kundasan kita is on the right. So, equilibrium position will shift to the right. Uh, same as question 1 Roman. So, ah. Uh, then we have to mention about the effect in the product lah. Uh, the effect of the species overall in the equation, which is the CO2 and H2O decrease, O2 will increase. Again, when it shifted to the right, so what does it mean is that CO2 and H2O prefer to form O2 and our glucose. Okay, so it means that here concentration decrease, here concentration increase. Okay, why um, I don't include the glucose because it is in solid. Concentration only for gas and aqueous state. Okay, so that is the solution for question C. Again, this is involving the Chatelier. So if um the question asks for the explain, first you have to mention the counter back, uh, equilibrium position, and what will happen to the concentration of the species itself, lah. Okay, but then for the concentration of species, um again only for the gas and aqueous state. Okay, so that is all the question for the year of two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen.